Welcome to the e-curriculum advising presentation of the Department of Biotechnology at UWC. In this presentation, we will aim to assist you with module choices to facilitate your registration process. Should you have any queries after watching this presentation, please feel free to contact me via email at cgelderbloom at uwc.ac.za and I will do my best to facilitate and resolve your query. As you know, biotechnology is the field of study that involves the manipulation of living systems and living organisms such as fungi, bacteria, viruses, plants and animals to develop or make products that can improve on the quality of our lives. Therefore, we endeavor to teach competencies in the following disciplines microbiology, biochemistry, molecular and cell biology. In addition to these classical areas of biotechnology, we will also enhance your critical analytic and analytical thinking, improve and enhance your writing skills, which could then either be used for scientific and or leisure writing, as well as improve on the basics and teach the advanced mathematical calculations needed to become a successful biotechnologist. Having been selected into the mainstream program, you will complete your degree over three years after having obtained a total of 360 module credits. This is, this is 120 credits per year. At level one, all modules in the mainstream are worth 15 credits, therefore, you must complete eight first year modules to attain 120 credits. At level two, all modules are 20 credits, hence the need to complete six second year modules. And at level three, all modules are 30 credits, and therefore you will need to complete four third year modules. Course content is presented as modules and two types of modules exist, compulsory or elective modules. Compulsory modules are modules that's considered core to your program, while elective modules are those modules chosen to complement your course. In order to take certain modules at a higher level, Modules at the lower level must have been completed, and these are termed prerequisite modules. The mainstream program is composed of a combination of compulsory and elective modules, and all these modules are semester based. At level three, all modules are compulsory. At the mainstream, or three-year degree course. At level one, you must select eight modules of which six are compulsory and two others are electives. Compulsory modules are life sciences one for one and one for two, with one for one being in the first semester and one for two in the second semester. Chemistry 116 and 126 with 116 being in the first semester and 126 in the second semester. The next two compulsory module choices are one of computing fundamentals cause 114 or cause 124 and English for educational development EED 117 or 127. If you choose cause 114 which is in the first semester then you must automatically take EED 127, which will be in the second semester. If you choose EED 117 in the first semester, then you must automatically take COS 124 in the second semester. Please note that COS and EED cannot be taken in the, in the same semester. In terms of electives, you have two groups available with group one being physics 
116, which is a first semester module, and Physics 126, which is a second semester module, or Group 2, which is Mathematics 115, which is a first semester module, and Statistics 125, which is a second semester module. You must choose both modules from a particular group. Group 2 modules are advised by the department, but because it's an elective, the choice of elective remains yours. At level 2, you must register for six modules, four compulsory modules and two elective modules. Your compulsory modules are Biotechnology 211, which is in the first semester, Biotechnology 215, which is in the first semester, Biotechnology 222, which is in the first semester, and Biotechnology 223, which is in the second semester. Your electives that you can choose from are Biotechnology 213, which is in the second semester, Biotechnology 218, which is in the second semester, Chemistry 211, which is in the first semester, and Chemistry 212, which is in the second semester. BTN 213 and 218 are advised, but the choice of elective remains yours. At level 3, all modules are compulsory, so you must select all four modules. Biotechnology 315, which is in the first semester. Biotechnology 316, which is in the first semester. Biotechnology 312, which is in the second semester. And Biotechnology 322, which is in the second semester. If you are a returning student, you may apply for advanced registration through the faculty office, providing you meet the following criteria. A level one student who has obtained at least 75 credits may be allowed to register for a maximum of 40 credits at level two. You are a level two student who has obtained at least 80 credits plus have a full complement of level one modules may register for a maximum of 60 credits at level three. All approval of advanced registrations is provided by the Dean of Science subject to you having the necessary prerequisites for the modules for which you apply and in the absence of clashes on your timetable. Now let's look at some of the careers that you can enter into following your degree. After obtaining an undergraduate degree, you can now enter into postgraduate studies, starting with an honors, followed by masters, and ending with a PhD in biotechnology. Having a masters or PhD would allow you to apply for academic or research scientist positions at universities or colleges. The food industry employs a large contingent of biotechnology in graduates in various positions ranging from lab assistants to lab managers. Another popular employer of biotechnology graduates are the forensics units of, SAP, of SAPS, where our students become DNA analysts, amongst other things. However, if research is what you want to do, but you don't want to be at a university or college, then a career at a government research facility, such as the Agricultural Research Council or Medical Research Council may be a solution. If you want to be at the forefront of discovering new products, then a career as a research and development scientist at the biotechnology company may be an option. If your personality 
is such that you would like to continue meeting new people, then a career as a marketing or sales reps for a biotechnology company should be your career of your career choice. Another industry that has a large contingent of graduates are the med medical technology field at companies like Pathcare and Empath, Empath, where our students complete internships. And if you have a passion for training and shaping young minds, then you should surely consider a career as a science ed educator and by completing a postgraduate certificate in education after your degree. These are not the only options available to you, for there are many others. So take your time to decide what you want to do and then pursue it with all your heart. Remember, if you can dream it, you can be it. All of the best. Thank you.